Hey guys, I'm Anna White. I design and I make my own furniture. And I share hundreds of free plans on my blog, anna-white.com. All steps in woodworking are very important. But it's the sanding, it's the preparing a project for paint that I find is the difference between liking and loving a project. For years, all I could afford was this inexpensive palm sander. I've sanded hundreds of projects with it. We go way, way back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use an inexpensive palm sander like mine to get a good sanding to prepare your projects for me. You will need a project that needs to be sanded. I have here a $10 ledge. You will need a palm sander. I recommend starting with medium grit sandpaper, but you may wish to start with coarse if your project is especially rough or you're removing existing paint. You will need hearing protection to protect your ears, eye protection to protect your eyes, and do not forget to wear a respirator to protect your lungs. We're starting with medium grit sandpaper. It's maroon, like here. If your project has an existing finish or there is, the boards are really rough, you'll probably want to start with the green sandpaper, the really coarse stuff. Now most sandpaper is going to come in an 8.5 by 11 sheet and you'll want to break it into quarters to fit a standard palm sander. So I just folded it up into quarters and broke it into pieces and then we're just going to fit it into the front of the sander, tighten the front. This is super easy to do. It just takes a second to change out sandpaper while you're sanding. And then I'm going to tuck it in there. All sanders are different. Um, so just, you know, if yours is different than mine, read your instruction manual. But you want to make sure that the sandpaper is really tight in there. You don't want the sandpaper to be moving around. And then clip it in place and we are ready to sand. So I've got my $10 ledge here and I'm just going to do a quick demonstration for you on it. You're going to want to turn the sander on and apply steady, even pressure and follow the grain of the wood. That's very important. And keep your sander flat to the surface of your wood so you don't you know, want to be sanding like this because it'll, it'll cause your wood to be sanded at an uneven direction. You can use the sander to round corners or to make joints appear more perfect. Um, just every project is different. So as you're sanding, just pay attention to your project and work to get the look that you're trying to achieve. I wish you were here so you could come feel how smooth and even this project is. It is ready to paint. I hope the tips in this video will help you make more beautiful projects for your home. Remember to be safe and have fun as you're building your own furniture. Thank you so much for watching.